Hi everyone. Today I want to teach you how to control your recoil properly and make sure you get the right sprays. It can take some practice to get the hang of it. However, with a bit of patience and the right techniques, you can improve your recoil control and take your gameplay to the next level. In this guide, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks to help you master recoil control. So, let's get started. First of all, I want to show you these clips. This has probably already happened to you, right? Shooting without stopping or shooting frantically and praying to hit the shots is a big problem that makes you lose the 50-50 trades. The best way to solve this is to understand and learning how to control the spray of your weapon. And today you will learn that here. As I don't know what your rank is, I will start from the basics and go to the advanced later in the video so that everyone can learn and improve their skills. If the content is too basic for you, just advance the video to the next topic. So, what is recoil? Recoil is nothing more than what happens to the gun after the moment you fire, causing your shots to move up and to the sides. These movements affect the way you will continue to contest shots with your opponent because they disorient your bullets. This is where the importance of recoil control comes in. To better understand, first, we need to learn the spray patterns of the weapons. Each weapon has a different pattern, for example, if you hold down the fire button with the vandal without moving the mouse, you will see that your bullets will go up, then sideways. Every gun has a pattern like this and once you have learned this pattern you can learn how to control the recoil of that gun. To do this you need to move the mouse in the opposite direction of the pattern, so in the case of the vandal you need to move the mouse down, then slightly left, then right, making the opposite movement to the vandal shooting pattern. Another important thing to know is that in ADS recoil, the shots don't disperse away from your aim, but there is still recoil and your shots will be slower, so it's situational. Look at the comparisons. So, if I master recoil control can I spray at every gunfight? Well, because of factors like RNG and because it is a difficult technique it is not possible to do in every gunfight since sometimes other players will try to one-tap you. So when should I use the spray? When deciding when to spray, it is important to consider the situation and the location of the enemy. If you are less than 20 meters away from the opponent it is okay to try a spray to get the kill, if you are 5 meters or less it is even okay to crouch and walk while spraying, but if you are more than 20 meters away you should start using two tap and move, because from this distance the accuracy of the spray gets very bad. The notion of distance between you and the opponent becomes clearer with experience. Another way to decide how you will trade is through the accuracy reset. Look, when you fire a sequence of shots, the crosshairs move according to the spray pattern. When you stop shooting the crosshairs go back to where you originally started shooting, at which point your accuracy has been reset and your next shot will have full accuracy again. When we do one tap or two tap, we notice that the crosshairs barely move, so the reset of accuracy happens faster than with a spray. So, what does this mean? If I am in a 1v2 clutch situation, for example, and I use the two tap technique trying to hit headshots, my accuracy will reset faster, which will allow me to kill an opponent with speed and have time for the accuracy to reset and take the second fight. Otherwise, if I spray the first opponent, there might not be time for the accuracy to reset and the second enemy would kill me in the meantime. In this second case, the best option would be to do a spray transfer, which would be to spray the first enemy and instead of resetting the accuracy, continue spraying the other opponent. It is also important to remember that improving your aim takes time and practice, so be patient and keep working on it. So let's talk about training. First of all go to the range and train the patterns of a weapon until you have mastered the movement that you have to do with the mouse to control your gun. Now, 
You can go into deathmatch and train your sprays only when there is an opponent within 20 meters of you. Above that, use one tap or two taps to get used to the distances and fight the best way in your ranked matches. If you want to know more about one tap and two taps, I will soon be making a video that will be the most complete guide for you to master this technique that is the most important when we talk about aim at Valorant that will be very important for you to watch, and the only way not to miss it is by subscribing to the channel, so click the subscribe button and if you like this video do not forget to like it, see you soon.